This is tutorial number 93, and it covers how to use the compass rotate part feature within Katia V5. To start off, open up tutorial part number 87, which is located on the DVD. Now, like in the previous uh, tutorials, we're going to be using the compass to rotate, and we used a rotate feature uh, previously, and what we're going to do is I'm going to introduce you how to use the compass to rotate. Now, for the compass to rotate, um, one thing I really have to emphasize is that you need to use a straight line and you need to position your line uh, accordingly to get the best results. Now I'm just going to show you an example that if we say throw this compass on this face here, you're going to be rotating around the W here. You're going to get a different result than if you have it rotating about here. So it's just something to think. Um, when you have either a circle or something close to a circle and you think that you're near the center, you're not really going to be there 100% because you're still able to move it around a little bit. So what I'm going to show you is how to create some geometries in your circles or your curves to create an axis to actually be 100% sure where you're rotating about. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an axis and let's say I want to rotate along in here and I want to rotate the part. So to do this, go to the generative shape design. So we'll click start, shape, and the generative shape design. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an axis that's going to be uh, the center point in between here going down and from there we're going to be able to rotate our part. So to do this, we'll click point and we'll change it to uh, circle and just click the curve and it's going to give you a point. Click OK. Do the same thing on the other end. Click the curve, you get the point, click OK. And now we're going to uh, make it go from point to point. We're going to show the line. So click line, click that point, and click that point. And now you got your line. Click OK. So now we have our axis that we're going to revolve it around. Now, if we look at this from the front, if I try to put the uh, compass in here, I'm getting different results. So if I put it strictly on this line here, and you'll see, you'll notice that it's able to run up and down that line. So it's right on it. You can't move it. It's on that line. 100% you're going to be able to rotate about the axis that you want. So the compass is a really good tool. The only thing is when you're rotating, you need to make an axis to be 100% sure that you're getting the right results. Now, uh, it may not seem like a lot, but when you uh, have larger and larger assemblies and when you're looking at uh, differences of millimeters, these tiny little angles that you're going to be playing around with are going to stack up and it's going to create a huge problem with it. So to make sure, always make an axis that you're going to rotate about. So now once you've done that, like the translate feature, uh, you're going to have to highlight everything and you're either able to rotate it by clicking the plane you want to rotate around or by double clicking on it. So let's double click and all your rotation increments are on the side here. So what we're going to want to do is rotate around the W. So let's make it 15 degrees. And now let's choose the part. So we're going to choose this part. So we'll click the part body. And let's select all of the features on here. And we'll look at it from the front. And let's rotate it around. So click this to rotate and you'll see how the part rotates around that axis point. So by creating this axis, we've created a axis that we know is correct 100% and we're able to rotate the entire part around it. So again, I can't emphasize how important it is to create these axes when you're rotating your component. If you don't, you're going to get mixed results and your part's going to be all over the place. And that concludes our tutorial on how to use the Compass Rotate Part feature within Katia V5.